So before I show you the solution, a couple things I did note that I tried out at first. This is the first one. In this one right here, I added this part under BJ. So it's, it says manually cap. So that was one of the things I did. And then after that, I went to file and I chose save as. And I'm going to save it as a CSV file. So I'm going to do that, save file to type as, and then I chose um, CSV comma delimited, this one right here. I'm going to hit save. It's going to say it already exists because I have it on my computer and I'm going to replace it, just so you know how it works. And then the next thing, so you see this thing talking about some possible data loss up there. So Hit the X, this should go away. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is open up my Word document. And so uh, when I do this, I get a couple different errors each time. Hopefully it replicates when I try it here. So I'm gonna open it up. And I'll just go to this one, the latest. And so I get that and I hit I'm going to hit no this time. And then I'm going to come in here to mailings. And I'm going to select my recipient list. So I got to do this again. And I may have to do it twice. So I'm going to do use an existing list like always. And I'm going to choose that CSV file that I just saved. And let's see, I got that one. And there's that. So this is the one I just saved. Open it up. Um, oh, that's right. I forgot. I gotta do one more thing. I gotta actually close this file. So I'm gonna close it. Then I'm gonna come back over to mailing tab and select recipients. And then, like I said, I may have to do this twice. Um, so it should look like that, a jumbled mess with a bunch of commas in it. And then after you do that, you may have to do it again. Let's just do a preview results. Um, you can see the data showing up here. Everything is in there all the way down. One of the things I found interesting was when I tried to create the field with the Word document and I would give it an insert a merge field, it would never show up here the, the, um, the BJ column about the status cap, the manually cap and so I was like what in the world's going on there and then sometimes when I would type it in down here in the body when I just had it as this um, it would replace it with it would default back to this right here and it would leave off the manually cap and so I kept having that issue and then the other thing I would suggest too is at the top department let's adjust the spacing on this just a little bit because I noticed it was off but it should be everything's going to be fine so I tweaked it there and I went here. Now, if I go over here to edit my recipient list, you're going to see that it populates. And then this is everybody. And I should get an email, and you should get an email with this document in. All right. And then I'm going to click OK, because that looks fine. I'm going to check my last record, number 30. That's me. And then I'm going to come over here to merge. All right, so what it's doing right now is it's uh, getting ready to go here. And so I'm going to do what we've been doing. This is going to be, <laughs> heaven forbid you should know how many tests I've done. But this is test 24. And I'm going to do this. And I'm going to change this to workplace. I mean, work email. And then I'm going to type in, I'm going to actually do, yeah, so that stays. And then for my subject, I'm going to say test 24 CSV ACPS HR. And then I'm going to just put 24 in the box. This is. Alright, and then I'm going 
to hit OK. One of the other things I noticed was that when I was doing this, um, I never got a percentage right here when it talked about verifying databases when it was wrong. And so when it shows a percent done, that means it's going through and checking the database, which is what we want. And so this part may take a little bit, but you'll notice that it's going through. Okay, so you can see that it just did the databases and that took a lot longer. And then this is where I'm going to say where to serve, save it. This is where I'm going to say where to save the file. I want to keep it in the same spot. Click OK. And then you'll notice the next part is you're going to see the percentages again. All right, so next is going to email the records out. So now it's emailing the records out, and that process took a while uh, to do for the 30 emails. What I would recommend is when you are sending out your batches to include yourself as one of the people in each batch you do. I'm not sure if there's a cap on the number you can send out, but I would definitely make sure that you are included at the bottom each time you send out a mailing. That means you received the email because it takes a while for your response. Um, so it's still sending them out though. Also, I'm pretty sure if I go here to my folder where I'm creating these, there's test 24. You can see all the ones that's been created. All right, and so that's also another person on your list who's giving me that reply. Um, so if I open this up, that's up. So there's my email right there. I was at the bottom, so I'm number 24. And then this is what I opened up. See how I fixed that right there? This all looks fine. There's your information. And I'm getting a bunch of emails from your people who have their auto reply set up. All right, so that works. That should tell you that that's going to work using a CSV file. Um, hopefully this gets you in time where you can use it and do something with it. Let me go to my email so you can see it's there. There it is right there. For me, number 24. There's the file. And then if I click this, You'll see there's my document. Things look fine. You'll also see that if I come back to the mail merge, it's going to say emails went successfully. Um, I'll probably get to show you all my Hotmail account because um, I'm using your list. But you can see the previous ones that have showed up on my Hotmail account. And then also, so that's test 23, 22. And then you can see that in my regular email for work, 24 was here, and then 23 is probably this one. And there's test 23. So we got success here. 